and it's always very futuristic and future thinking. Now, the story goes with the film Tomorrowland that Sean Bailey, who's the president of production at the Walt Disney Studios, that he shared with Damon uh, Lindelof, the writer and producer of Tomorrowland film, that there was a box discovered in a closet at the studios uh, accidentally, and inside this box there were pictures, blueprints, photographs of Tomorrowland, what it would be. So that was kind of the jumping off point for the plot of the film. That it, rather than this box just being some blueprints and things for Tomorrowland here in Disneyland, it was actually the blueprints to an outer world, to an actual real place called Tomorrowland, this real world, this futuristic world. So that's the how the story goes in terms of the jumping off point for the film Tomorrowland. Uh, here we have Astro Orbiters in Tomorrowland. Of course, there's Buzz Lightyears, Astro Blasters, uh, Captain EO was here for a long time, classic 3D the film. And then we have Space Mountain, right? Now, Space Mountain, the thing I learned that I think is really fascinating about Space Mountain is that they actually brought on a real astronaut, Gordon Cooper, who came in and he collaborated with our Walt Disney Imagineering team to make sure that tomorrow, that Space Mountain had that actual feeling of flying out into space. So at the time, they used NASA technology and they, the astronaut Gordon Cooper really gave his insight in terms of what it was like to fly into space. Now, just so you know, right now it's Space Mountain has a holiday Halloween time overlay. It's Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy. And then next year it will become Hyperspace Mountain for a limited time where guests will actually then fly into the world of Star Wars universe. So in wow. fact, all of Tomorrowland, there will be some uh, Star Wars themes throughout uh, called the Season of the Force. So um, I think it's really great that Tomorrowland is always about moving into the future, right? It's always about embracing the future. And when this opened back in May 27th, 1977, it was Tomorrowland as seen from the viewpoint of 1977. And we're continuing to update Tomorrowland to make sure that we embrace the future while, like I said, at Open the Lincoln Theater, continuing to remember how we all started and the spirit of innovation and creativity of Disney. Are there any questions here?